Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is all about weevils. What are they, how do they get in our hamster cages and how to get rid of them. So a little bit of a backstory. Over a year ago now I spotted weevils in Twinkle's cage and that started a whole process of me trying to get rid of them and since then over on Instagram I seem to be the one of the go-to people for help when people get weevils so I thought it was about time I created a video on it so I can just help more people and it's all in one place and I can just refer anybody that asks me to this video. If you don't know what weevils are, they are little brown black beetles with a little snout and they're a few millimetres big and they can come in on your hamster food, sprays, forage, leaves and flowers. You may also see some tiny white things scurrying around as well. These are the pupae before they turn into the brown black adult weevils. The reason why the weevils can end up in your hamster cage, even if you have frozen the food items, is because the eggs can survive and lay dormant until something like a heat wave comes along and then the eggs hatch and the life cycle of the weevil happens all over again. Now, whilst the weevils are not harmful to you or your hamsters or other small rodents, you do want to get rid of them as quick as possible as they can multiply quickly and you don't want an infestation taking over your hamster cage or your house. Anyhow, this is how I got rid of the weevils in the cages and if you stay tuned till the end, I'll give you some top tips on how you can prevent this from happening in the first place. First of all, I took everything I could out of the cage and hoovered what I could. Then with a mixture of 50% vinegar and 50% water I wiped down what I could. This in theory should be killing the eggs. I then cooked what I could in the oven for half an hour around 92 degrees celsius. Once everything has been hoovered, wiped down and cooked I placed in this area which is my decontaminated area so I wasn't cross contaminating everything. Then it was on to removing all of the bedding out of the cage. Hoovering everything out. And I don't seem to film this bit, but I wiped down the inside of the cage and the outside with the 50% vinegar and 50% water mixture. I then started to set Twinkle's cage back up. Rather than the usual 6 to 10 plus inches of bedding I use, I only use 2 to 3 inches here, a little bit more where Twinkle's hide was. This is in case you see weevils again, as you will have to throw all the bedding away and start again. If after a couple of weeks, if everything is weevil free, I would add more bedding back. What I didn't realise at this point was that even though Twinkle had a nice clean cage, it didn't stay clean for long because the weevils really do like to survive in natural items such as the cork logs and branches and within a week I saw the weevils again in his cage so drastic measures happened. I had to deep clean everything again but this time when I set up his cage again apart from his wooden hide I only used plastic and ceramic which could be washed or cardboard which could be thrown away and easily replaced. This worked as I never saw the weevils in Twinkle's cage again. Having learned this lesson from Twinkle's cage, when it came to Moonbeam and Comet's cages, I only used plastic, ceramic and cardboard boxes apart from their wooden hides. And I only had to deep clean their cages once because this process worked. Now, the only problem I was left with was how to get rid of them out of the natural items once and for all. This became a long process of working out what to do. But in the end, for all the natural items that still seem to have weevils living in them, I came up with this plan of action. Number one, I froze everything for one week. Number two, I then defrosted the items and then cooked everything for two hours, yes, two hours, at 95 degrees Celsius. Number three, I then quarantined all the items for two weeks in small plastic boxes out in my garage. And I know this isn't very environmentally friendly, but I did end up putting the items inside plastic bags as well. And this seemed to really work. Until I did that, the weevils still seemed to be spreading from one item to the other. Number four, I also put a little tub of diatomaceous earth in each plastic box. Because it can attract and kill the weevils. And therefore you can see if you've still got them or not. I also used this underneath the hamster's cages just to see if I still had them in my living room at the time 
but I didn't. I never saw any one side taking all of these other steps. This may all seem excessive to you, but this is what worked for me. Cooking something for just 20, 30 minutes at 95 degrees, it's just not going to work. It's all about breaking the life cycle down of the weevils. And if after two weeks there were still signs of the weevils in the items that I'd stored in the garage in quarantine, I would then just start the whole process again until there was no sign of any weevils in any of the items. In some cases, I had to do this about three times, but in the end, it worked. There is one more item I want to talk about, and that is Indirect's Defence Spray. I did end up using the spray around the carpet beneath my hamster's cages. In order to do this safely, you need to, number one, remove your hamster or hamsters or any other animals from the room you are going to use the spray in. I put my hamsters in travel cages for the day and they just slept the day away in my bedroom and they were none the wiser. I recommend doing this for quite a few hours. I chose to do it for most of the day until they woke up in the evening, purely because on the spray it says, I think for cats and dogs, they are to be re removed from the room for one hour. So I just fathomed that the longer I could leave it, as my hamsters are just tiny little creatures, um, would be better for them. And number two, before you spray, if you are unable to remove the hamster cages, then cover all the ventilation holes up with towels or blankets. You're spraying the spray towards the carpet anyway, so it shouldn't really be circulating up in the air for long. So hopefully nothing should get in the hamster cages. But just in case, I did remove any food or water sources in the cages as well. Even though they were so well covered, I just didn't think that there was much chance of anything getting contaminated in there with the spray but they're my little hamsters so I wasn't taking the risk. The good thing about this spray is it lasts up to a year I think it is and it will kill any of the weevil eggs that come in contact with it in the future. And also while we're talking about the spray don't forget to clean your hoover out after you've done all this decontamination. And a top tip is to actually use the indirect spray inside your hoover if you can. And now let's talk about some top tips on how to prevent weevils from happening in the first place. First of all, freeze any food items that you have for a minimum of a week. Once you have done this, you can then defrost them and store them in airtight containers. I use glass jars, such as kilner jars. You can also add a bay leaf into each of the jars. Apparently this is meant to deter weevils. I've done this since I had the weevils last year and I've not had weevils in my glass jar containers since. And I also just check any food items, including like forage sprays, leaves, flowers, when I'm adding them to the cages, especially in the hotter months and if you're having a heat wave. Because like I said previously, this can make the eggs hatch that have been laying dormant on the food items. So one thing you could do if there's a heat wave is that you could minimise your sprays, forage, leaves, flowers, etc. Just when it's really extreme hot temperatures. I also thoroughly check any items that I've had in storage before I add them back into my hamster cages. I think that's everything I wanted to say on weevils and I really hope this video can help somebody else in the future just because I've discussed it so many times with so many different people especially when heat waves hit. Also do let us know in the comments below if you think I've forgotten anything on how to get rid of weevils or keep them out of your hamster cage and also have you had weevils and if so how did you get rid of them? So if you're dealing with weevils at the moment, good luck. You can get through this, you can get rid of them. If you found this video helpful and informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.